Concatenating or combining text values is very common in Power Query, but if that combination includes different types of values, you may run into errors. I'm going to guide you in this video on the different kinds of ways you can combine values and what you should think of when you combine different types of values. Basic concatenation in Power Query is, first of all, very easy, but it's also an important skill to have. If you, for example, have two columns, a first name and a last name, you might want to combine those together so you have a full name. So the easiest way to do that is to go to custom column and say I have a first name, do F the percent. I might want to have a space. So I'm going to have a space in between uh, the, the quotations, another M percent, and we write last name, and that will make up the, the full name. You press OK, we're going to get a new column with those two combined. Easy enough. So when you do that with text values, everything works perfectly. Let's go to the next one. I only have text values here too, but now I have three columns to combine. And if I want to do that, I'm going to have more text because it's going to be this space, or let's have a comma as a separator this time and a space. Then we're going to have another M percent, another combination operator, and we're going to have another comma as separator with finally the zip code. And this is then the full address. This is another way to do it. It's very similar, but as you can see, the code gets longer and longer. And now imagine that you have even more columns. So this is not the, not, I would say not the best or not the recommended way to do it once you get more values. So how can you do it instead? Well, let's say we're working with delimiters and the delimiter between each value, it needs to be the same. The third method, uh, the, the other method you can do is add a custom column, used the text combine function. And if you don't know this function yet and you want to learn more, you just go to Power Query How and then go to text combine and you will find that the text combine function, it first of all takes uh, the text within a list. So all of the lists that you want to combine together, those are the ones you need to provide in a list. And then optionally, you can provide a separator as they say here. So what that means is maybe you want to separate all of the values that you combine with a comma, and you can do that in the second argument. So let's see how that works. If I want to provide a list of values to combine, I open a curly bracket, select the first one, separate it with a comma, provide the second one and the third one. Then you close the curly brackets and first close it. So I'm going to have a full address. This is without any delimiters. So if I press OK, this is what you're going to get. So what you see is that everything is glued together, not even with a space or a comma. But we can change this formula. So when we have text combine, I can provide, let's say, a comma and a space as a string in the second argument. And if I then press OK, you're going to find that each of these values is now separated by a comma and a space. So that happens here, and that happens here again. And that's how it glues it together. Now, if you have like 10, 20, 30 columns, this is just much quicker, much more efficient for you to write. But this is not the only way to do it. I'm going to show you a quick example. You could, for example, also use list accumulate. I do not recommend it, but I'm just, I'm just showing here that it's possible. A list accumulate here also takes all of the items in a list. And what it then does is it grabs the first item and then concatenates it with the next item it finds. Now the first item starts with null, a null value. Uh, that's the current one. It then basically says like, well, if the first value is zero, then simply provide null. Or if it's null, provide null. Otherwise, for the next value, concatenate it with any of these others. You don't need to know this by heart, but I just wanted to show you. Now let's move on with the examples where a data type might be different. For instance, I have a table here with two columns, an ID column and a description column. If you would try to combine these and say, I want to combine the ID, you have an M percent with a space and you want to combine the description, then this is what's going to happen. You're going to get error errors here. Now, if you zoom in on one of those by selecting a cell and just looking at what the error message is, you'll find that the error message indicates that we cannot combine numbers 
and text. That's always the case when combining text values. So if you want to have a text string as output, then you need to have an operation to convert the original other types to text before you can actually combine this. Now one option to do this is to simply wrap the ID column in the text from function. Press OK. That works perfectly fine. You could also have done number to text, which is very similar, and that works in an identical way. Now here's the thing though. If I do this and I make a text from a null value, it finds it difficult. So I'm trying to combine my null value right there with the sweater value right next to it. And the output is null, unfortunately. Now, if you had to check for this, you would have to do something like if ID equals null, then description else do the combination. But also this can be very bothersome if you have a lot of null values. Now here's what I recommend doing instead. Also here, you can use the text combine function. And we're going to combine the ID column within curly brackets with the description column. If we do that, then by default, let's see, I made an error because I need closing brackets and I need another one. By doing this, actually the rows with the null values are now combined in the right way. But again, we still need that ID column to be as a, as a text value. So you would need text from here as well. That works. And then perhaps you want to have a space as a separator to make this look nice and, and clean. So the, the clue here is if you want to combine these values, you need to transform them to text. However, isn't there an easier way? Because now I had to look for what values to convert and what values to combine. Well, Power Query makes it rather easy. If you want to combine values, you can also select the columns in the order that you want to combine them. So in this case, if I wanted to combine the ID and the description, I first select ID and then the description as well. You then go to the add column section and say merge columns. And this operation allows you to provide a separator. So we could have a space and say that we have a new column here, combine text. Now look what happens here. I only specify that I want to combine these, press OK. And Power Query generates this formula here. It says text combine, it transforms the ID column based on the value type that it has to text. And it then also adds a description. So if you want to make your life easy, I recommend doing this. Just, just let Power Query help you. Now here's some more. So we have a year and month. Actually, that's what we just, uh, what we just looked at as well. So if you want to combine year and month, you also need to combine these. But the last example that I want to show you is how you can actually make a value with a specific date string. Dates are very specific. So let's say I want to celebrate the new year with family and friends. And instead of uh, having the date in here as normal, let me show you what that looks like. I could, for example, say uh, I'm going to combine the events and I'm going to combine it with a text value from the date. I'm only going to get this. So I might still want to have a space. I'm going to add a space here. But the only thing I see here is uh, a string that looks like here. Perhaps you want your date to be formatted in a different way. So one thing I still want to show you is if you have a value of a different type, like a date type, you can also use the date to text function. And you might have a specific output that you need. So if we go back to Power Query How, we can go to date to text. And if we then scroll down, there is a list of formatting strings that we can use. And you might actually like the full long date. So the list of formatting strings, we can find that right here. But maybe uh, maybe you actually like what is being shown here. So Sunday, December 31st, 2023. Well, if you want to provide that, you can provide a capital letter D that we see right here as a formatting string. Let's see how that works. So we could have, instead of text from, date to text, and the formatting string was a capital letter D, 
which we provide as a string. Now look at this. If I make my, my column bigger, I now say I'm celebrating New Year with family and friends, Saturday 1, January 2022. That's pretty awesome, right? So the clue here is, if you combine values of a different type, you need to convert them to text in some way. And if you do that, custom formatting strings can be great, or the general formulas to turn them to text. Now, I know this is pretty complex to know which type of values you can transform, but also the type of formatting strings that are supported. You can either find those on Power Query How, but we also have a great resource, the Definitive Guide to Power Query M. And if you want to learn more than just the user interface, consider looking into it. I think you're going to love it. And not only will you be able to solve challenges you see online, you'll actually learn how to make your own solutions here. Hope that was helpful and uh, see you next time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.